let me say this before I get to my main point. In no way do I see myself better than anyone. I know in my videos, I am telling you that you need to change this, you need to change that, so on and so on. I understand that. But I have not been good my whole life. Some people may see my videos and believe that I have been this way my whole life. No, not at all. I was really a bad guy when I was in sin. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. <laughs> you have no idea. So when I sit here and I am telling you that you need to change this and this and that, because you have to. I had to. And I still have to watch myself to make sure that I am treating people rightly. I have to monitor my thoughts, my actions, everything. Pretty much to a particular point, walking on eggshells. I am serious now. I could go more on that, but let me get to my point. So I don't see myself better than anyone. I am just a person trying to get to heaven and trying to help other people as well. Now, what I could do, but I would not feel good about it, I could not teach anyone or make these videos and not really speak to anyone and wait until I die then pass on to heaven but that would not make me feel good it would make me feel like I am doing something wrong when you learn about God and when you are on the right track okay now help other people to get on the path to God too it is not only good for you to be right with God, help other people get there as well. You can't say, well, I am there and everyone else have to do what I did. No, some people are really weak. And I am not saying that in a bad way. Some people need their hand held the entire way to come to God. Some people are that way. So it is not only good for you to make it into heaven, bring other people with you. At least try. Just don't sit under a rock and wait until you pass on. Thank you, Jesus, I am in heaven, but all these other people dying and going to hell and stuff like that, no, man. Help people out. Anyways, let me get to my point. Today, something was happening. And when you live for God, your faith is going to be tested. It is going to be tested. And the more tests you pass, the more difficult the tests are going to be. But on the same note, the more tests you pass, the more you do right by God, the stronger you are going to become. But anyways, I was being tested and I am telling you this not for entertainment or to make more videos and stuff like that. I am telling you this because surely you are going to have to come or go through this as well. You are going to be tested and it makes no sense to continue to fail your test time after time after time. It is time to pass it. 
Anyways, I was being tested. It was really obvious, but whatever. Anyways, I told these certain people what I want to do in my opinion about certain things. If I told you over and over and over again, why are you telling me over and over and over again the bad things that could happen and all this other stuff? I told you countless times, how many times are you going to tell me the worst things that are going to happen and how many times do I have to tell you, I understand, but I want to go this route? We have to understand, it is not so much the people that are trying to make you lose your faith. It is the demons, not so much in them, but demons that are playing with particular people's thoughts. Now, what they say may be right, but it is not right when you factor in the whole picture. Now, part of, part of that picture, yes, they are right in this part, but in this part here, no. Your opinion is only true in this part but when we are speaking about all the way here your opinion is wrong because you are not factoring everything into it so these certain people and i don't blame them i don't blame them i don't hate them no it is demons for instance, when Jesus Christ was telling his disciples what he had to go through, that he had to be crucified and stuff like that, Peter was trying to persuade him not to do it. It was not that Peter was trying to do evil and stuff like that, no. It was just that Satan was using Peter. Peter's intentions was not wrong, but Peter could only see that small part when the part is all the way here. So your opinion that factors in something this small means nothing. Look at the entire picture. So some people was telling me that I should do this and that and this and that. And I received confirmations long ago about what I need to do. And I told them that and they would not receive it, obviously. So I was saying, no, I am going this route. But Kevin, no, I am going this route. How many times do we have to go through this? Just because you feel some type of way about it, don't try to change my thoughts or my decision because anyways, My faith was being tested. My faith, demons was trying to take away my faith by peer pressure. <laughs> Let me say this. Before, I was some type of introvert. And in some ways, I am that way now. But I am coming out of it. So I am used to being alone, especially now that I am trying to do right by God. <laughs>
but I am used to being alone. Sometimes I'd rather be alone. Not in a bad way or anything like that, like I want to kill myself or something like that. No, sometimes I enjoy being alone. And some people may say that is strange. No, I think it is strange to want to be around someone all day, every day, or so much. How can you... <laughs> Whatever. So my faith was being tested. Actually, the demons was trying to make me go back on what I decided long ago. And okay, so I was on my way home and usually what I do, I listen to Bible audio books so my mind is tuned on the word of God and stuff like that. So I guess I was driving slow or I was turning a corner really slow. So this guy behind me was honking his horn. Onk, 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 onk. <laughs> Go around, man. <laughs> Anyways. This guy just zoomed past me, like in a very angry way. And after he got about 10 feet in front of me, like he pressed on his brakes really hard. And then he started going really slow. So I was like, okay, this guy wants to play this driving game. So what I did, I pulled over. I am not going to play that driving game. And what that guy did, I believe he looked back to see where I was. And then he saw that I was not driving behind him. And he kind of drove slow for a while. And what I did, I did not drive until like so many cars came in front of me first. So maybe five or more cars came in front of me. So at that time period, I could not see him anymore. So I drove off then. So demons were trying to get me angry with that. No, I am not, no. Because I figured if that guy wanted to play that driving game, you won't be able to play that game if I am not driving. <laughs> so I was willing to wait there as long as I had to, five minutes or more, but I only waited for 20 seconds. But if he was willing to wait there, I was willing to wait there too, because, you know, I have time. And since he was so pushy to for me to go faster, perhaps that person is not patient, so he is not going to wait there for long. So, I went home, and I was conversing with someone, and it kind of seemed like some type of confusion was going to start up. Nope. It did not work. So back to back to back, all in the same day. It was some things earlier that was going on too, which makes no sense. Like this one person just makes no sense. So it was quite obvious that demons were trying to get me angry, trying to get me down, and trying me to backtrack, trying to get me to backtrack on my faith. No, not going to work. 
not going to work. So what am I saying to you? Now, with some people, with some people, if that was to happen to you, what some people would do, they would get angry, get really depressed, and perhaps even sin when you are being tested. Let me go down this other route. I want to go down this other route. I was checking my YouTube comments. And I was reading this person's comment just totally took what I said out of context totally and I am thinking we have to understand that there are some people who enjoy arguing I'm serious I have no reason why a person would like to argue I have no reason I don't understand that like there is so much to do in this world but you want to argue with someone find a hobby make a YouTube channel <laughs> do something and this person disagreed with what I was saying in a certain video fine but let me say it in the right way. There is a way to disagree with someone and there is a way where you kind of go a tad bit over that. I can say, well, Joe, what you are saying, I believe that that is wrong, but I believe the answer is this. When you disagree with a person like that, that is more acceptable. No, what this person did was more in a, not a hostile way, but it was a bit over than disagreeing. It was like, more than just the average of saying, I disagree with you. And if I was wrong, okay, I would tell you that I am wrong. But this person took what I said out of context. So I was thinking, is it worth me writing this person back? Like, from how this person wrote me, is it worth me writing this person back? And what came to me, it would cause more confusion. And that person is not going to agree with you anyway. So I said, hey, let me just do this. And I deleted that person's comment. There are people that disagree with me and that is fine. It is the way that you disagree with someone. If you are going to disagree with someone, be humble. Be humble. Don't disagree with someone as if you are taking like a pole and you are banging them over the head with that pole. You don't disagree with someone like that, figuratively speaking, of course. You don't do that. I don't mind people disagreeing with me. That is fine. And my point in saying that we have to know when, especially people who are out there telling other people about God, 
we have to know when to respond and when to not respond. We are not called to debate with people. Stop debating. Stop. Stop. This person, maybe two months ago, I believe, three, maybe two or three months ago, this person wrote me and said that, <laughs> so funny, I don't believe in God and here's my phone number so we can talk about it. <laughs> I don't believe in God. Here's my phone number so we can talk about it. What? <laughs> okay, I teach about God, right? Yes. You are telling me that you don't believe in God, right? Yes. So why in the world would I talk to you about God when you are telling me that you don't believe in God? I am not going to waste my time. If you want to be atheist, hey, whatever. I am not going to debate with you. I don't have time to debate with people. Well, I do have time, but I am not going to use that time to debate with anyone. You are telling me that you don't believe in God. So why talk to me then? If you don't believe in God, why do you want to talk about it? <laughs> I don't believe in Santa Claus, right? I am not giving people my phone number. Hey, let's talk about it. Let me tell you how much I don't believe in Santa Claus. Makes no sense. This other person disagreed with me fine Kevin I don't agree with you and here's my phone number what <laughs> you have listened to what I said I have looked at your comment what more can be said if I was to call you, I am going to repeat what I said to you, which you already disagreed with you, and you are going to repeat what you wrote me. So why talk about it when we both disagree with each other? We are not here to debate. If I don't disagree, whether I am wrong or right, whether you are wrong or right, if I disagree with you and you disagree with me, why continue to talk about it? That is going to add confusion. That is going to add problems. Debating. We don't debate. Stop debating. This one person that I used to talk to or every so often speak to, this guy would be in the habit of debating with people. I told him to stop that. If someone is not willing to receive what you say, move on. You don't debate with them and then you spend one or two days talking about God with them and they are not agreeing with you and then you get frustrated afterward, why did you do it in the first place? We are not called to debate. We tell people what God says. If they don't receive it, move on. Debating for what? There are people out there that actually want to learn about God, but you are willing to debate with a person that have no interest in God. Does that make any sense? Go to the ones who have interest that are receiving you. Why go to the ones that want to waste your time and frustrate you? Think about that. You have to be careful 
of who you speak to. Let me say this too, and I am going to make this plain. There are some people who contact me and I don't know who they are. Like I don't see any pictures. Um, chances are they are not willing to call me. It's like they, you are able to see me and you know some things about me and I ask you some things about you, but you are not willing to tell me, but you are asking things about me. So you want to know all these things about myself and me not knowing anything about you. That is not going to happen. Well, you know, I just don't tell everyone about myself. Well, that's fine, but I am not interested in speaking to you. We have to know that there are evil people out there. And I am not saying this to be rude or to be mean. I have ran into people who I saw their picture and learned things about. And it made me wish that I never spoke to those people. We have to be careful of who we speak to because we can't go by the outside looks per se because a person can seem like a good person or a normal person and you find out about some other stuff. Which I am not saying that, you know, I am better than anyone. I am not saying that. But what I am trying to say, I am not so willing into messing around with everyone. You can't. There's people in my family that I don't really speak to. So if I don't speak to them, <laughs> what is the chances of a random person out of nowhere? No. And I am not saying that to be mean. There are witches out there. You won't believe how many people out there that practice witchcraft. It is insane that people believe that it is a normal thing to practice witchcraft. So what if I get buddy-buddy with people who do witchcraft? Don't you think a curse is going to come upon me? Think about that. You can't be friends with everyone. It is not meant for you to be friends with everyone. I don't debate. So if you want to debate with me, hey, there are other Christians or people who call themselves Christians that may be willing to debate with you. Kev, don't do that. I am going to the ones that are looking to be helped and looking to serve God. There are people that say that they need help and then you find out they are not trying to serve God. So I'm like, what is the point in speaking to me? <laughs> I am not trying to sound mean or think that I am better than anyone, no. I am trying to get to heaven. And I am going and I am not going to let some person who want to serve Satan or who don't want to fully submit to God potentially get me to fall into the pit with them. Not going to happen. You have to be careful. I don't care if you a pretty girl, young girl, older woman, dude, if you got so much money, I don't care. I want to go to heaven. And the stuff that I go through, I won't say each night, it is not worth it. I don't talk to everyone. 
Not because, oh, you know, I am Mr. Bible and information. Get on my level. No. You have to be careful. Unless you can prove to me that you are a sane person and you are not with that witchcraft stuff and whatever else, perhaps I may talk to you. But... <laughs> I am cautious and you need to be cautious as well. Would you accept calls from random people that you know nothing about? Chances are no. So why expect me to do the same? So let me get back to my point. I am all over the place. Oh my Lord. We are going to be tested. The same, not the same way, but you know, God sends you people, right? Well, demons send you people too. If you believe that God sends you people, demons send you people as well. You have to be careful. Let me say this. And I am not saying that the people who contact me are bad people and stuff like that. But let me say this. 99% of the people that contact me from what I understand, and I could be wrong, God please forgive me if I am wrong, are not really serving God. And a large percent of that, they are okay with their sin. Every so often I may run into a person that likes serving God, that have a heart to serve God, but everyone else it's just doing their own thing. And I am not saying, like I said, I am not saying that I am this top elite Christian guy over here. So I pray that this makes sense. Demons send you people as well. You have to understand this. Let me say this. And I am only telling you this because when you start living for God, you won't fall for that dumb stuff. A while ago, uh, five, six months ago, I forget when, but a while ago, it was this one woman that I would contact, you know. And this woman could pray really good, man. And then... um she could interpret the Bible really well. I'm like, wow, this woman is a good woman of God here. And then it was getting toward a point where we would not read and pray and things were being more carnal. And then, then it was going more towards that more towards conversation, you know, I'm talking to you and you are talking with me and we would not really pray and read and that was happening more and more and more. And when that started to happen, certain things were popping up and I was like, wait a minute, no, we can't go down this route. Because the more we go down this route, I am seeing this, I am seeing that, I am seeing this. No, I am not going back to sin. Not going back to sin. And then this woman was like, you know, Kevin, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, look, if we can't read and pray, we are not going to talk. Kevin, yeah, da, da, you know, all this stuff there. I understand what you are saying. And I see the route where we are going. I am not down with that. I am not down with that. 
Who is to say that that was not her plan? To take me down that route and to get me away from God. Who is to say that was not her plan? Who is to say? I have met people where they make it seem like they are interested in learning of God, but they be on some other stuff. They show themselves to not <laughs> want to learn about God. You have to be careful. And like I said about that other woman that I was speaking about, if I would have continued down that route, I'm telling you, I may have sinned or fell into great sin and probably it would have been much harder for me to come back. Who is to say that that was not her plan to get me to that point? Who is to say? Nothing is ever a coincidence. When you begin to serve God and have a strong heart toward God, watch out. Don't be naive. Just because a pretty girl or pretty guy come your way and saying the right things and showing you that they love God and stuff like that, don't be fooled. Well, Kevin, you know, I am looking to get married, so I believe this woman or this man is the one I am supposed to marry. Really? Chances are no. <laughs> Because demons are going to send you people. Truly. So I pray that this makes sense. You want to make sure when you die and when you stand before God, you want to make sure that you did right, that you followed his rules and regulations. You don't want God to tell you, depart from me. I don't want that. So even if you have to be careful. Now, there are some people who may be in sin, but they have a, a heart toward God. And they want to get out of sin, but they just have a hard time in sin. You know, but you have to be careful. You have to watch people because there is so many people who play with witchcraft and play with demons and stuff like that. It is common. Don't believe that it's not common. It is common. People know what they are doing. They are not stupid. Let me not say nothing about that. You have to be careful. So I pray that this makes sense. Look to be tested when you serve God. Don't make it seem like, or don't say to yourself, why is this happening to me? You are being tested. It happens to everyone who serves God. I don't have the scripture on me, but those who live righteously will be persecuted. What scripture is that? I may post it in a comment section. I may. So I pray that this makes sense. Be careful of people. Sometimes the problems that you may have with people are misunderstandings, perhaps. Depending on that other, that other person's intentions. So let me stop here. God bless.